In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a jet plane do the loop the loop by following a path. Open the model of the jet plane. You can make the model yourself or download it from my website. I'm going to make the model much smaller. Press S to scale, point 0.1 and enter. I'm going to point the jet in the positive Y direction. Press R to rotate, Z for the Z axis, 180 and enter. In the object menu, apply rotation and scale. In the view menu, toggle quad view. In the outliner window, click the eye icon to hide the plane. Add curve bezier. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. Blender gives a curve object curvature that we can see in the top view. I want to see it in the right view. Press R to rotate, X for the X axis, 90 and enter. Zooming in, we can now see the curvature in the front view. Press R to rotate, Z for the Z axis, 90 and enter. Now we can see the curvature in the right view. In the view menu, toggle quad view. In the view menu, choose the right view. Go into edit mode. Select the first point and use the tip of the green arrow to move it over to the left. Select the handle of the other point and use the tip of the blue arrow to move it down. Zoom back with the mouse wheel and pan shift and middle mouse button. Select the first point and again use the tip of the green arrow to move it over to the left. Select the other point and use the tip of the green arrow to move that over to the right. Hold down shift and select the first point so that both points are selected. Scroll down and click subdivide. That creates a new middle point. Select only the new middle point and use the tip of the blue arrow to move it up. Select the left handle, press G to grab and drag that around to create a loop. Leave the handle in the top right hand corner. Select the other handle, use the tip of the green arrow to move that into the top left hand corner. Select the handle of the first point and use the tip of the green arrow to move it over to the right and the tip of the blue arrow to move it up a bit. Select the handle of the other point, press G to grab and move that over to the left. Go into object mode and in the outliner window unhide the jet. I'm going to make the Bezier curve the parent of the jet before I do that, I need to apply any rotation or scale. We have some rotation, so in the object menu, apply rotation. Select the jet, click parent and select the Bezier curve. Select the Bezier curve and click its properties button. And I'm going to double the resolution of the curve to 24 to make it smoother. Scroll down to show the path animation panel. Tick follow to make the jet rotate as it follows the path. Now to animate the jet following the path, we have to keyframe the evaluation time. Go to frame, I'm in frame one. Make change, I want the evaluation time to be zero. Insert keyframe, right click and insert keyframe. Set the total length of the animation to 160 frames and click the jump to last button to go to frame 160. Make change. Now Blender sets the number of frames to 100 which effectively makes the evaluation time the percentage along the path that the object has travelled. To go to the end of the path we need to set the evaluation time to 100. Insert keyframe, right click and insert keyframe. Pressing play, the jet follows the path and does the loop the loop. But by default, the jet accelerates at the beginning of the motion and decelerates at the end. And for the loop the loop, we want it the other way round. Change the window from a 3D view window to a graph editor window. In the view menu, view all. 
select the handle for the first keyframe, press G to grab, and I'm going to put that two squares across, three squares up. Select the second keyframe, select the handle, press G to grab, and I'm going to put that five squares down, one square across, so that the jet accelerates out of the loop. Change the window back to a 3D view window. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the start file and the end file for you to download and look at at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.